Hello guys, hope you're doing well, hope you're safe at home. Well guys, today I'm going to be talking about chromosomal abnormality, which is our new activity. Well, what if, the question is, what if we don't have the, the total or the normal number of chromosomes, which is 46? What if we have an extra chromosome for some reason from dad, or we have a missing chromosome from mom? What if we don't have the normal 46 chromosomes? Now, this case is called chromosomal abnormality. So, chromosomal abnormality is the change in either the number or the structure of chromosomes. Now, the two types of chromosomal abnormality is either numerical, which is in the number of chromosomes, or structural, which is in the shape of chromosomes. Now, the good news is that I won't be talking about this. So, structural chromosomal abnormality is not my concern. My concern is numerical chromosomal abnormality. Yani when I have um, when I have an abnormality in the number of chromosomes, either I'm missing a chromosome or I have an extra chromosome. So. The numerical abnormality is of two types. Now, to know the two types, I want you to have a look at this picture. So, as we know, guys, the two the, the karyotype is divided into two types of chromosomes. Either autosomes, which are the chromosomes from pair 1 to pair 22, and the last pair, which is the gonosomes. So, if the abnormality is in one of these chromosomes from 1 to 22, we call it autosomal abnormality. Okay? So, if I have an abnormality from chromosome 1 to chromosome 2, any extra chromosome or any missing chromosome from pair 1 to pair 22, we call it autosomal abnormality. If for some reason, I have an abnormality in the last pair, which is the sex chromosomes, XY or XX in case of female. This is called gonosomal abnormality. So, to sum up, I have two types of numerical abnormality, either autosomal or gonosomal. If the abnormality is from pair 1 to 22, it is called autosomal. If the abnormality is in the last pair, which is the gonosomal pair, we call it gonosomal abnormality. Now, I want you to take a look at this, another karyotype for healthy and normal individuals. The same concept. If the abnormality was from pair 1 to 22, it's called autosomal. And if it was in the last pair, which is XY or XX, in case of female, it is called gonosomal abnormality. Now, what we will be doing now, we're gonna be um, we're gonna be uh, studying some famous uh, autosomal abnormalities and some gonosomal abnormalities. Let's start with the autosomal abnormalities. Now, I want you first to know the meaning of monosomy and trisomy. Now, when we have a missing chromosome in the karyotype or in my chromosomes, we call this monosomy. So, monosomy means I am missing one chromosome. If I have an extra one chromosome in the karyotype or in my chromosomes, we call this trisomy. Okay? So, monosomy is for a missing chromosome or when I have a missing chromosome, and trisomy is when I have an extra chromosome. I want you to check this picture and tell me uh, if this is a monosomy or trisomy. Now, I want you to check this picture and see that in pair 1, normal, pair 2, it's also normal, 3, normal, 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 oops, if you can see that I have something abnormal here, I have an extra chromosome on pair 18. So, in this case, do you think this is a monosomy or a trisomy? 